Okay, so in this example here, we're given a quadratic and intercept form, and they want us to put it in both vertex form and standard form. So remember, in standard form, you have ax squared plus bx plus c. So they want it in this form here, and they also want it in vertex form, which is going to be a, and then x minus h squared plus k, right? That's vertex form. And the form that they give it to you in is an intercept form, and the template for that is going to be A, and then you have X minus P, X minus Q, and that's it. So X minus P and X minus Q, those are your factors of your zeros. So for example, right here and right here, and that A value is going to be the same across all three forms. So this A is interchangeable. No matter what form you're going to, it will stay the same. And that's representing a vertical stretch or compression, meaning your graph is either going to get skinnier or wider depending on the value of A. But again, it will be the same across all three of these forms. So for example, if you know the A value in intercept form, it's going to be the same for standard form and vertex form. Okay, so let's talk about how we're going to do this problem. So again, I'm in this form right here, intercept form. Let's go ahead and put it in vertex form first, and then we'll go from there. So I already know my A value. It's 2. I can see that right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just write down that A is equal to 2. Okay, now from here, I want to find my vertex, H and K. H represents the X value of the vertex, and K represents the Y value. So there's an easy formula you can use to find that. And so if you want to find the X value of your vertex, you're going to do X is equal to P plus Q divided by 2. So in other words, you're going to solve both of your factors here, X minus 5 and X plus 2. And you're going to get X is equal to 5 and X is equal to negative 2. I'm going to add them up and divide by 2. And that makes sense because I'm taking the average. I know that the vertex will be in the middle of both of those intercepts, those zeros. So if I add them up and divide by two, that will put me right on the X value of that vertex. And then once I have the X value, I can go ahead and plug it in and get the Y value. And then I'll have H and K and I'm pretty much done with the problem. So going along with this formula here, I'm going to say P is going to be five. Now you could call Q five. It really doesn't matter because you're adding. So 5 plus a negative 2, that will be my Q, divided by 2. And so we know that 5 plus a negative 2 will be 3. So I get 3 over 2. This is going to be the X value of my vertex. Now from here, we have to go ahead and plug it in and get the Y value. So this is really 1.5. So if you wanted to, you could go ahead and plug it into your calculator and just multiply this whole thing out. And so why don't we go ahead and do that? We're going to replace the X values here. So I'm going to have two times. Now here's my X. I'm going to write three over two, and I'm going to put it as a decimal. It's 1.5. So 1.5 minus five. And then I have 1.5 plus two. And so you're just going to plug that into your calculator, and then you'll get the Y value of your vertex. And so when you do that, you should get negative 24.5. Okay, so you get negative 24.5. That will be the Y value of your vertex. And so now I can put it in vertex form. So let me go ahead and scroll down here. And I'll do this in a different color because now I'm done. And I can say Y is equal to. So my A value here, we already determined what that's going to be. That will be 2. So I'm going to go ahead and put 2 here. And then in parentheses, I have X minus H. This is my H right here, the X value of the vertex. So I can put minus three over two. So minus three over two squared. And then my K is going to be negative 24 and a half. So minus 24 and a half. And here it is in vertex form. All right, we are done. So from here, we want to put it in standard form. And there's a couple of different ways you could do it. You could expand out vertex form here if you wanted to or you could just multiply out intercept form. So if you scroll back up and look at intercept form, that's probably gonna be easier. I'm just gonna multiply this out and that will give me um, standard form. So I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite it down here. You have two and then you have X plus two 
and then x minus 5. And so all we have to do is multiply it out. So I'm going to multiply out this part right here first, these two binomials, and then distribute the two. So you're going to do FOIL here. When you do first, you get x squared. Doing outside, you get negative 5x. Inside will give you plus 2x. And then last will give you negative 10. This is all in parentheses, and I have to distribute the 2 on the outside. Now, I can combine like terms right here and here. So why don't we go ahead and do that? So scrolling down, we get 2 and then x squared minus 3x, combining those like terms, and then minus 10. And then finally, distributing the 2, we will have it in standard form. So here we go. We get y is equal to 2x squared, then minus 6x, and then minus 20. So again, you can see that my a value is consistent across all three forms here. And here it is in standard form. All right. So that is it. That is how you can go from intercept form to standard form in vertex form. Um, there's not much to it. It's pretty straightforward. And just remember that your A value across all three forms will be staying the same. All right. So that is it. I hope that you found the video helpful. I hope that you gained something from it. If this video did in fact help you, if you could just go ahead and give it a thumbs up, that'd be greatly appreciated. Also, make sure you subscribe. That way you get more math videos in the future. And I'll see you in the next one.